No? Then told off. <laughs> everybody sorry for the uh, long-awaited next vlog but anyway here it is we're on the way to Rock Valley and I've been told I spin too much so here it is Rock Valley is down there somewhere uh, last time I was here I was at Nectar's Glen which is just over there and um, I done a vlog from there hopefully you've seen it if you didn't I'll put the link here or here I'll put it somewhere but it was lashing with rain. When I was at Nectar's Glen, it's under the canopy, and it didn't affect, didn't really affect the video, and because I was shooting a waterfall, it didn't matter. But it wasn't until I come out into out of the woods into the here, which is obviously very, very exposed, <laughs> also very beautiful. I realised how bad the weather was. I did take a picture of the waterfall down at Rock Valley. I'll show you it on the screen now. But. I knew I wanted to come back here. It's now about quarter to eight, eight o'clock. Sunset is at 20 past nine, Saturday evening. Got my bag, got my camera, tripod. I walked the missus somewhere. She's walking ahead because I hate talking in front of the camera. And I've also brought a little beer to celebrate the sunset. Just one. I'm driving. On my last video, I got a comment from someone, someone you probably would have known, Mr. Paul Johnson. You probably know who he is. Reckons my legs should come with a health warning. Well, anyway, this is just for you, Paul. Every time you see my legs, like now, yeah, every time you see my legs, I'm going to flash a health warning just to give you a little prior warning to look away. Hope you enjoyed the video. Next time I get you back out, we'll be down there somewhere. Somewhere down there. See you in a bit. Say hello, Kirst. Not so. what I'm doing is this is our sh this is my shot the sun setting from over there and I'm hoping for some side light against this this outcrop of rock and the rocks in the distance I'm focused on the rock the big one in the in the distance uh, I've just got a point um, point six I can't remember, yeah, 0.6 hard grad. I ain't got soft grad, so I've tilted it on the side just to bring the sky down a little bit. You probably can't see there, but I can see Lundy Island as well in the distance, if I squint a little bit. <laughs> see, all I'm doing is taking certain sex selection of shots and I'm bracketing them as well, because there is quite a harsh contrast between the sky, the white foam of the sea and the sky, so. I'm just clicking away whenever I think the light looks good on them heels. I don't want to speak too soon. With a view like that, there we go, the light, the sun's coming out. Yeah, with a view like that, it's very hard to take a crap picture. <laughs> but I guess you'll be the judge. I've got a base setting. I should tell you in a minute. I just want to grab this light. I've got a base setting. I'm in F11, I've got a fifth of a second ISO 100, and I'm taking three shots, two, two stops either side. So I've got a massive, um, I've got massive uh, dynamic range. So when I put them three pictures together, 
in Lightroom. I've got heaps of detail in the whites and the blacks, the shadows and the highlights. Definitely good to uh, use filters and bracket to combine the old and new school together. I might bust a 10 stop out once the colour goes, just for a, just for more of an abstract shot, but it could be a hell of a lot worse place to spend your Saturdays. Yeah, they're definitely getting better. They look better each time. I just want a bit more light on them heels, would be nice. Sun setting over to my left, and this is my this is my shot. I've got a nice leading line which follows the outcrops in and out, in and out, all the way to the end. You've got this lovely rock on the edge, and uh, obviously the sun's casting some nice light along the right hand side of these cliffs. This is my. I'll just get up a minute. This is my shot on this rock. We've got a rock valley down there and a lovely waterfall you probably can't see on the, on the GoPro, which runs all the way down to the out, yeah, the sea. And if you follow the river back that way, you go Rock Valley, and that takes you to Nectar's Glen, which is where I took my last vlog from. And there's the missus. Wave. <laughs> go careful down there, it's steep. So yeah, and this is our little camp. Kirsty's got a little chair, got a rucksack, and we had an Indian earlier, so I'm staying with that theme. <laughs> uh, no idea what count we are on terms of the uh, health warning with my legs. I'll tally it up at the end. Cheers, Paul. <laughs> but yeah, this is such an amazing place. It's a hell of a location. It's about five to eight. The sun is, uh, the sunset is at 20 past. So what I'm doing is, I'm gonna crack a beer open once I get some decent light. <laughs> what I'm doing at the moment, I was at one third of a second um, I've got the 10 stopper in. It was about a five minute exposure, F11, ISO 100. So I'm in bulb mode, cable release, got my Nissi filter holder and a Lee six stop hard grad and a Lee 10 stop big stopper just to, uh, on an angle, just to cut the light on the left hand side just down a little bit. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I've also made a bit of a purchase. I bought a little eyepiece cap because mine hasn't got a little lever like the D810 has. D7200, uh, you have to buy a little lens cap just to go, not a lens cap, a viewfinder cap just to go over, just to stop any light leaking in the back. I used to put, put a um, lens cloth over the, over the back bit. Living in Cornwall, you're always at these locations, it's always windy, even on a calm day, there's always a sea breeze. The bloody thing keeps blowing off, and I, I've got stuff falling everywhere. It's just, I need to be nice and chilled. So that just makes it a little bit easier. The funny feeling this 10 stop's gonna be a bit of a bust. Right, we're, we're done. What does that look like? Oh, I don't know. Can you see that? Let me just bust this out a minute. There we go. We're not clipping any highlights according to the camera. It's funny, they look so... What's the word? Eth ethereal? The sea just look, yeah, I like that. I like it a lot. You don't? Never mind. 
That's, that's what this image is missing. It's missing light along here and a nice sky that tends to stop just... When, you, when, when we haven't got any light hitting their side, it, that in, within them five minutes, it just... It doesn't pick anything up. Anyway, I'm going to crack open a beer, take some more images. I'll put the 10 stop up now and any images I took up to this point up on the screen now. But amazing place. Right, I'm getting that beer open. I'll see you in a bit. Ciao. made a frantic dash. I was down there looking this way. I come over the other side because just wasn't getting any colour over there to take a shot of the sun set. Oh, this is my view. It's a last minute composition. Got some foreground. A nice cove. Some nice clouds and the sun. I'm at f11, 8 for the second ISO 100, and I'm bracketing for the clouds. Uh, I'm just going to sit here and wait, really. Sun sets in about five minutes. Maybe I might get a bit of colour. I might not. But either which way, pretty amazing. Might do a panorama as well once the sun sets. Hopefully, might get a bit more colour. Uh, I'll put you down and you can watch a bit of a time lapse. Slight change of plan on the way home. <coughs> we was on the way home, but we've just managed to swiggle our way round and we've come down to the next cove. It's a bit dark now, sorry about that. You probably wouldn't be able to see him too well. There's a waterfall over here and there's just this amazing beach with a arc arch in the cliff. The sun's obviously gone downhill now, but yeah. I thought I'd come down here, just check it out little scout before we go home, coming back here for a, a future video. This place is absolutely gorgeous, look at it. So yeah, I don't think, for today's vlog, I don't think it was a complete bust. I think I, early shots I got some nice pictures with a side light. Like I said, I moved, I moved position to get the catch into the sunset. It's a bit of a mad scramble. Uh, I took a few shots and I took a pano which I'm not 100% convinced about, but I probably will put it on the screen into the video. Anyway, I can't imagine it would be horrendous. Uh, this is the second time I've recorded this. I've had a uh, mic not plugged in completely and get loads of crackling, so I've had to re-record this. The GoPro wins horrendous. So this is the second attempt. <laughs> but I just wanted to um, say thank you very much for watching my videos and commenting, all the people that comment. Uh, there's nothing better than sitting down with a cup of tea, reading through some nice comments which you send me. So uh, thank you for that. People who haven't subscribed, please do. It really boosts my confidence and gets me out taking images and bringing you lot along to these amazing Cornish hidden gems. I know you can't see, but you can get a little snippet of the little places that I find on my little travels. So, uh, like I said, thank you to all the people who have subscribed. If you haven't, click the subscribe button, the little bell. And uh, thank you to Paul J for boosting my confidence about my legs. Here they are one last time. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> They're very skinny, apparently, and white. <laughs> I'll put the count of how many times I flashed them on screen. But... I'm Foto Ninja. This is Rock Valley next to Bossini. And I'll see you on the next one. See you later.
Thank mm-hmm. you.